It is often assumed that brains are generally the same. However, recent research that has been conducted supports the idea that our brains are, in fact, not consistently identical. In a majority of animals, there are clear physical differences that differentiate males from females. This is known as sexual dimorphism. Some examples of these differences are lions, where males have a mane versus females, which do not, cardinals, where males are brightly colored and females are more dull, mallard ducks, where males have a green head and females are all brown, praying mantises, where females are larger in size than males, and even Tyrannosaurus rexes, where females were larger in size. Some of these physical differences can also be observed in the brains of human males and females. These disparities have been suggested to have an influence on sexuality. The factors that are possible contributors to these differences are hormones, brain development, and the functions of certain brain areas. Hormones that have been shown to form the brain and its differences are androgens. Androgens, including testosterone, affect the masculinization of the brain in males, while estrogens show effects in female brains. Brain development has a large reliance on DNA factors. The X and Y chromosomes that determine sexual anatomy characteristics also produce initial variations within the brain that later lead to anatomical and hormonal characteristics. The brain areas that have been implicated in sexual orientation include the amygdala, hypothalamus, medial preoptic area, and the corpus callosum. Most often, these areas in gay men show greater similarity to those in women. For example, the medial preoptic area in gay men is thought to be closer in size to that of the medial preoptic area in women, which tends to be smaller than in straight men. With the use of fMRI, genetic testing, and other research strategies, researchers have been able to build support for there being biological factors correlated to sexual orientation. With the suggestion that homosexuality has a biological basis to it, we as a nation have been able to validate the lifestyles of those in the LGBTQ plus community. This research has been super important in the understanding of the LGBTQ plus community and allows for awareness to be spread across the country in hopes of ending the stigma against the community. A significant conclusion that can be drawn from all of these various findings is that sexuality is not a choice.